servo motors find their use in several cool projects such as robotic arms and multi-leg bots. If you have ever used a servo motor, you may have wondered if there is any way to read angles using a servo motor. Unfortunately, the hobby servos don't offer a direct way to do so. In this video, let's explore a hardware trick that will extend the servo's functionality to read angles. Now if you want to understand the servo's working principle, How To Mechatronics has a really cool video about the same. But for now, what you need to know is that a servo uses an internal potentiometer to keep track of its current position. And for us to know the servo's position, all we have to do is read that potentiometer's value. To do this, we need to first open the servo's back cover and then look for three pins in a row on the control PCB. These three pins would most likely belong to the servo's potentiometer. And of the three pins, the one that we need to use is the center pin of the potentiometer. Having located the center pin of the potentiometer, we need to solder a piece of wire which we can later connect to the Arduino for reading analog values. And then you can wrap up the servo. To test it, you can hook up the servo as usual with the new wire connected to an analog input pin. The code first moves the servo to 0 and 180 degrees to find out what the extreme values of the potentiometer are and then we call the detach function of the servo class to stop sending PWM signals so that the servo doesn't resist motion when we try to turn it. Inside the loop, the incoming analog data is mapped to a scale from 0 to 180 degrees so that the final output you see on the screen is the position of the servo motor or the angle at which it's pointing. And the code worked as expected. It's really interesting to think of what all can be made using this new functionality of the servo motor. You can probably record movements and replay them or do something even cooler. So if you enjoyed the video or learned something new today, do let me know by liking the video or by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching.